hello everyone this is Kenny Bruni from Cambridge Tech. in this video we are going to continue from where we left off the last time now remember we've created our views we did some routing and we are kind of understanding how things are going to look like but clearly we cannot be putting and once again let me open the view over here clearly we cannot be putting a whole styling and HTML in this format okay because that's going to be cumbersome and we don't want to do that there's a better way of actually handling this and that's why we have the model the view and the templates and like i said the views the views are going to handle the business logic so you don't have to attach it with any kind of html so what i'm going to do is we are going to rewrite these views over here and before we do so i'm going to introduce you to how we can render templates so what i'm going to do over here is i'm going to clear this off okay and instead of returning an HTML um, response we are going to do a return and this time around we are going to call render render was already imported for us so we are going to return a render and render takes in some parameters over here so the first parameter is going to be the request that we are passing and the next parameter or the next argument okay because this is the return value the next argument is going to be the name of the template now we don't have the name or we've not created the template yet but then we are going to create it so let's just say we'll give it a name over here all right so we are also going to do same for what we have over here for the staff so i'm also going to say return render and render is going to take in a request and we are going to pass in some kind of name of a template over here now you don't have the template yet so in order to work our way around it um, let's do things i mean the most proper and organized manner so over here i'm going to create a folder and as you can see i'm very careful about where i put my things and where i put my folders because this project is going to get huge so you need to make sure that you do things the proper way so as you can see i collapsed all the things i have in here and i clicked outside what i have here so i'm going to create in a folder so i'll call this templates and this is where i'm going to put all my templates here now i'm going to go into my project folder and i'm going to go into settings.py remember anytime we have any settings we come here and come and apply those settings over here and see what we had over here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this okay we have a base directory and we have this over here. so you see what this builds paths inside projects like this okay so if you want to build a path this is how we go about it so i've copied that and i'm going to paste it over here so as you can see we have templates over here and we have the drl which is i mean specifying the directory so i'll do a control v over here and i'll change the name over here to templates and this template is actually what i've created over here so i'm telling django that okay as far as if you are looking for templates for my projects are concerned just look for a template folder in the base directory okay so this is actually directing it that inside the base directory there's a template folder and all my templates are found in there so what i can do is now that i'm done with the settings i can close this up and i can come in here okay so once again i've clicked on this and I can come and do index.html. So I have index.html over here. Then I also create one for staff. So I'll do staff.html. All right. So I have index.html. I have staff.html. And now I can start typing in some HTML code in here. So inside index.html, I'm just going to um, call this over here. And let me change the title to home page. We are later on going to find proper ways of handling this but then this is for your understanding in order for you to move forward so inside the body i'm going to have let's say um an h3 tag and i'll say this is this is the template index page so i'll save this and let me just copy this Control c and do a control v over here and let me do this um let me just clear everything over here and see staff page and for staff page let me also apply some style over here so that you can of see some difference over here 
So I'll do a color and let me just choose blue. So I'll choose blue over here. Now we have these templates working over here. Now we need to come back into our views. And remember, we said that what we want to render a template. So it takes in the request. And over here, we need to pass in the name of the template. So over here, we want to call the index.html template. Then over here, we want to call staff.html template. All right. So this is what we need to do. And after saving, you can see that our server is still running. Now, when I come back and come and refresh, you can see that what we are now rendering something different. And this is not just picking from anywhere, but it is actually picking it from our template. And as you can see, this is what we specified. We want something of color blue with this particular text in there. Now, when I go into my index page, you can see that what this is the template index page. So this is how we render things using um, templates. So this is just by way of introduction. I'm now going to go deep and structure our projects very well. So first of all, I'm actually going to clear everything over here. I'm going to clear everything over here. Now inside templates, and this is how I prefer to organize my work so that it's kind of loose cool. And as we move along, we are going to see that we are going to have a lot of files. So when you have things organized properly, it's going to help you moving forward. So inside this templates folder, I'm going to create another folder and I'm going to call this dashboard. Now this dashboard is going to house some templates and the first I'm going to put in there is an index.html. So I'll move this over here and I also move staff.html inside this. So we have now what I also need is I also want to create another folder inside template. So I'll click on templates and I'll click on folder and I'm going to call this partials. And we are going to understand why we have these partials and inside partials, I'll click on partials and I'm going to have base.html. And I'm also going to have another one I'll call nav.html. And as we move along, we are going to see how some of these things work. All right, so this is what we have. As far as our template is concerned, we want to do some few things over here. And Django helps us, as far as the whole architectural framework is concerned, we want to write less code. We, want, we don't want to keep repeating. And as you see, or as you saw me do with the design of the template, I kept on like repeating a lot of things and we don't want to see that over here. So that's why we are arranging things over here. Now, what we have with partials, we have base.html and nav.html. So we are going to actually put a navbar over here, for which reason we don't have to go and be repeating it in all the pages because we are going to use template inheritance to handle this for us. So over here, I'm going to open up my dashboard and I'll go to index and I'll open this up in, let's say, um, Notepad. So I'll open this up in Notepad. All right, so I have this over here. Now I'll come in here. And as you can see, I have this navbar over here. So I'll just collapse this and I'll copy everything I have over here. And I'll now put it in here. So I have this navbar over here. Okay. I have navbar over here. Later on, we are going to change some few things over here. So, but for now, this is what we want. Now, for base.html, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Bootstrap. So I'll go to getbootstrap.com and I'll click on this link. Remember, we are using Bootstrap uh, version 4.6. So I'm actually going to grab this starter template and I'm going to paste it over here. So this is base.html. Now base.html is going to house everything we have in here. All right. So we have base.html over here. And what I can do is I can clear this. And this is where we can make use of template inheritance and some of the template tags. So the first one you are going to look at is now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to like put this nav okay dot html inside base dot html but I don't have to copy these whole codes and bring it here. All that I can do is inside base dot html I'm going to put out 
a template tag and this is what i refer to as a template tag so you have the curly braces okay we open and close and we bring out the percentage sign okay beginning to end and what i'm going to say is i'm going to say include and i'll just have to specify the name of the file that i want to include over here and remember the position is very important so i'm including it at the very top and that's why i have it i mean the first item over there so where do i find nav.html nav.html is in a folder called partial so i'll do partials first slash nav html now when i save this yes what this line of code is doing is it is actually grabbing i mean um there are almost 29 lines of code we have over here and putting it over here so we don't have to worry about copying and pasting code we we, we, we just have to write this line of code anywhere we want to have nav.html and we are good to go now what i also have to do with our index page is to actually come here and also tell our system that we want to work with our base.html so all that we need to do is i also have to put in a template tag over here and i'll say this is actually extending so i'll say extends then i'll look for partials okay and i'll say base.html so when i save this just by writing this line of code once again let me see our view okay our index view is going to render index.html so just by doing this and let me close this when i come back to come and refresh we see that we are getting some problems so you see that our template does not exist okay and this is actually a very good thing so it says our template doesn't exist now this template index.html has kind of changed directory okay it is now in dashboard so what i need to do is i need to bring in a forest slash over here and do dashboard okay so i'll do dashboard forward slash index.html and this is actually the proper location of the file that we are looking for so when i refresh this is what we get okay this is what we get and let me zoom out a little bit on my browser okay so that we have everything display over here so this is what we have as far as our interface is concerned and we didn't have to write a lot of code inside index.html as a matter of fact we only have one line of code over there and we have actually imported this whole base.html which has a bootstrap cdn and everything over here then we have we have also included a nav bar okay and once again kindly go and watch um the video where i designed the template so that you know some of these things very well as far as just copying and pasting may not be so helpful all right so the next thing we are going to look at is i mean organizing our work okay so what i can do is i can also copy this okay so i'll do a control c and look for stuff.html and now before i even paste this when i come here and do forward slash stuff you can see that stuff we are not getting the template okay and that is simply because as far as this view is concerned stuff is still looking at the old location so i also need to come and do dashboard and forward slash stuff.html and when i do this and refresh stuff.html is not having anything over here okay because you are rendering an html file so what i can simply do is i can just come in here and come and paste what i copied and if i am to refresh now we have this over here so clearly we can see that we are making good use of writing less code and not repeating ourselves and this is very important so in this video you've actually seen how we can work with our templates so in the next video you are going to build our interface in its entirety and we are going to employ a lot of the template tags we are supposed to be using now if you find this video very interesting there are a couple of ways you can help me grow my channel kindly subscribe to Cambrotech and click on the like button also share this video with friends and family who find this content very useful at Cambrotech, we say learn program you can do it and also don't forget to ask any question in the comment section if you do have one thank you very much and bye bye